This is problem number four for section 2.3. And the problem it says, for the given function f of x and values of l, c, and uh, epsilon greater than zero, find the largest open interval about c on which the inequality f of x minus l less than epsilon holds. So they want us to find a interval about c. So that's talking about interval of x values. So we're looking for an interval of x values around c. Remember, c is just the point, the x value, that we are finding the limit of, essentially. On which inequality holds so that uh, you have the y value still less than epsilon. Then determine the largest value of delta greater than 0 such that 0 less than the absolute value of x minus c less than delta implies that the y values are less than epsilon. So they want us to find an interval of x values around c, and then they want us to state what delta would have to be to keep, epsi or to keep these y values within epsilon. So let's look at the information they give us. They give us a, they give us a linear, so that should make this problem a lot easier. Uh, they give us 33 for the limit. They give us c, so the, we're doing the, if you think about this, we're doing the limit. You can write that, this out. Limit as x approaches 8 of 3x plus 9 equals 33. That's what they're giving us in this problem. And they're saying that this epsilon value is 0.15. So if you think about our... Our function, I'm just going to draw a straight line. What they're saying is we have this part C, and then we've got these x values that are going to produce some y values, right? And this is our limit, which is 33, and these are the epsilons. So this is 0.15, and this is 0.15. And so what they're looking for is they want us to find the interval from here to here surrounding C that will produce these gaps of 0.15. I hope that makes sense what I'm talking about. How do we start? Well, first of all, we want to start with the epsilon part and figure out what we can, we can plug in information, right? We got f of x and we got l, so we can essentially solve that to find out what x values we would need. So we're going to start by saying absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. We're going to plug in our information that they give us, so absolute value of 3x plus 9 minus 33 is less than 0.15. We can go ahead and say 3x, when we subtract that, that's going to be negative 24 less than 0.15. All right, we can go, whenever I solve a absolute value inequality, I typically like to just put an equal sign here and find the roots and then use a number line. So we're going to use 3x minus 24 equals 0.15, and we're going to say 3x minus 24 equals 0.15, or 3x minus 24 equals negative 0.15. Add the 24 over, you get 3x equals 24.15, or when we add the 24 over there, we get 3x equals 23.85. Now we're going to divide each of those by 3. So 24 divided by 3, 24.15 divided by 3 is 8.05. Or 23.85 divided by 3, 7.95. So our x values are essentially 7.95, so if you think about this, this is 
Remember, C is 8 here. They tell us that there. This is 8.05 on this side. So for the gaps of 0.15, these are the x values that produce those. So our interval is 7.95 to 8.05. And uh, we would put, we would put the, it would not include that. So we're just going to put parentheses around that. So this is part, I guess we're going to call it part A. Part B then is the delta value. Well, what's delta there? What's the smallest delta value? Well, we take 8.05 minus 8, and we take 8, or 7.95 minus 8 and take the absolute value. Well, you get the same number. It's 0.05 because this is linear. Because this is linear, we get that same number. Now, if it's a curved line, like we saw in a previous problem, that's not going to be the case.